Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel. My name is Drusa Lachey, if you don't know already. And in today's video, the last video of the year, I cannot believe it, 2022 has flown by. But in this video, I am gonna be sharing with you guys the five top worst purchases I've made this year and the top five best purchases I've made this year. And these are all gonna be geared toward apparel purchases. I'm gonna couple each of my worst purchases with my best purchases, just to give it a little balance. Y'all want the good or the bad first? Let's go with the bad. One of my worst purchases this year was this very, very light tan jacket that I got from TJ Maxx. It's not that anything is really wrong with the jacket. It's actually really great quality. However, this was honestly a completely unnecessary purchase that I now regret. I went to TJ Maxx with my friend with my friend. We went in there for her. She was looking for something. I was not looking for something. But anytime I go to stores like TJ Maxx, Burlington, Ross, like girl, the way the feel good hormones just be releasing into the atmosphere, I just felt so excited. I was seeing low prices and I was just like, <sighs> I need to get something. I started just picking up things that I liked. And I was like, girl, like, I'm not even supposed to be buying anything. She was like, can you live with that? Can you live without that? And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I don't think I can live without it. I could have definitely lived without it. And now I look at that jacket, I'm like, it's one of those things where I don't care for, but because I bought it, like, it's going to stay in my closet for now. When I finally decided, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and return this item. Not only did I lose the receipt, but I couldn't find it for the longest, so... It got to the point where I just couldn't return it anymore because so much time had elapsed. And then eventually I was like, okay, I'm stuck with this thing. Let me just pop the tags and take it with me. So if you have to learn anything from me, do not shop based off of your temporary emotions. Sit with the item for a while and see if, okay, is this something that I actually really, really want? Because I think if I did that, I would have put it back. All right, so one of my best purchases this year is this Walmart jumpsuit that I picked up. And it is just something that I stumbled upon. Walmart really set it up over the last few years. But I came across this jumpsuit and I was like, ooh. Not only did it feel great quality, but it was definitely my style, my taste. And I knew that it was gonna be well fitting on me. And I love the fact that it wasn't like tight. It had that baggy but feminine look, which I love. That was a worthwhile purchase that I'm still excited for. Okay, I still love that jumpsuit. So we're on the right track. All right, so for my next worst purchase of the year, this is ASOS blazer. I was going to an event and I needed something that was out of the ordinary, something that was not in my closet. After doing so much search, Searching. like I actually came across it in one of the like suggested sections and so I was just like oh this must have been meant to be and it's tall let me pull the trigger on this one because it was a little pricey we gonna also express ship her because I need it in like two days <laughs> okay so I went ahead and ordered it this blazer that I had such high hopes for it's technically like a blazer dress but I was gonna wear it with a skirt anyway this blazer that I had really high hopes for like, why is it so cheap? Looked like I got it at, I don't even know, Forever 21. It did not give what it was supposed to have gave. It's giving Tin Man cheap gold and it just did not look great in person. It's one of those things where online they make it look so nice. But, mm, and so the same day that it came in was the same day that it got returned. I set the bar real high for this one and it really disappointed me. Even my husband was just like, Moving on to my second best purchase of the year. One of my really, really great purchases I made is this sage gown. It's not because it's like this really amazing, stunning, spectacular gown, but it's one of those things that I purchased because I um, knew that I was not going to be wearing it anytime soon. I didn't need it for a specific event, but I saw it, it was long. I'm tall, once again, so you know, when, when you get the long gems, you better pick it up, <laughs> okay? So I was just like, okay, this will just be good to have on hand in case an event comes up. You know, you just never know. And one of the worst things for me is having to cram and find an outfit 
especially like a gown, like a special occasion outfit on a time crunch because it's not that easy for me to get special occasion things that are long all the time. It's not like I can just go into any store and just pick up anything. And so when I find a gown that's, you know, really affordable that I can pick up, it'll be a good look. So I went ahead and got it, not having any event or whatever to go to. But then the end of the year rolled around and I was invited to a birthday party, black tie, okay? And it ended up working out. I didn't have to go out and buy something else. So when it comes to those things, that's something that, you know, I always recommend, especially if your body type is one that's, you know, on the harder side to shop for. Definitely when you find something, you don't need to buy something only when you need it. Sometimes, you know, eventually you probably will. So it's always a good look to just get it ahead of time and be proactive so that you're not stressing later. All right. So this next one, I think is really going to shock y'all that it's even on my worst purchases list. My third worst purchase of the year it's the beautiful, wonderful, amazing green Zara dress. I showed it on one of my videos. I went to Zara. When I was going to the checkout line, I saw this green dress just like hanging out of place. It wasn't like where it was supposed to be, but I saw it and I can't remember what size it was, but it was certainly tricky because I was like, okay, there's a chance that this may not fit me. Because you know, I got a grown woman body now, so. <laughs> things just don't fit the same as they used to. So I was just like, okay, this may not fit me and I'm not gonna go to the dressing room again. So we just gonna take this home and see what it do. I, I went home and I saw what it did and it, it, it was a struggle <laughs> getting that dress on. If I was being a responsible human being, I would just have a little talk with myself that, hey, this dress is a little too tight on you. It's a struggle to zip it up, okay? Like, when I tell y'all I'm zipping up this dress for myself, I mean, it might as well be a sport. We really do an acrobatics. We do all sorts of things, like, but then there was, like, something else that was saying inside of me, just, just stick with it, okay? Just, just keep it. It's not that bad. So, I, you know, held on to it, kept convincing myself, it's gonna be fine, girl. It's gonna be okay, but... One day I woke up enlightened and I realized that this dress probably shouldn't stay in my closet because it's not going to get worn. It's going to be one of those things where when I'm looking for something to wear, knowing that I'm not going to be comfortable in this dress is going to make me not wear it as much as I love it. Came to my senses, I'm going to return it, right? And what had happened was so much time had passed by, you know, it was just way past the return date. And so as y'all can see, this is a little bit of a trend for me this year. It was a sad moment because I, I told myself that I really could have stopped this. Definitely a wonderful item, but certainly one of my worst purchases of the year. Speaking of sizing and such, my third best purchase of the year, this raspberry dress, okay? I got it from Shein. It's like this velvety dress. I had done a closet clean out before on this channel. I just keep doing these closet clean outs where I realize that anytime I gain a little bit of weight, none of my clothes be fitting no more. And that's because I had gone into this habit of always buying things that just fit or things that are tight, like things that are super fitted because I always love that really clean, tailored, super fitted look. But the problem with that is the second you eat too much cornbread, the second you want to get a little bit overzealous with the cheesecake, your clothes just ain't going to fit no more. I had an epiphany, okay, that I need to switch up my wardrobe. <laughs> I can't keep getting things that are exactly my size or super tight. I need to start getting things that are a little bit looser, things that, you know, can transition with me so that... I'm not clothesless if I gain weight. I came across this dress, but instead of, you know, getting a size four, I'm gonna get a size six. And it had been sitting in my closet for so long that I honestly forgot it was there. One of these days, it just popped out to me. I was like, oh, I forgot I had this dress. And threw it on, turns out it fits perfectly now. So that was definitely a good call, getting it a size up. And it is a little bit stretchy, so that's great. It's good to have variety in your wardrobe, a variety of sizes, or just to have things that are extremely tight all the time. At least for me, I'm learning the beauty in having things that are looser or baggier, but they still look feminine. They still look very nice. Just learn from me. It's good to have a variety of these things in your wardrobe. So in case life be life in, you're not going to be on the struggle bus. Okay, so for my last worst purchase of the year, we have, drum roll please, I got a picture for this one. So I'm going to just show y'all what I'm about to return. This plaid 
skirt. I went to Burlington, so I was getting something for somebody else. And again, I got tempted. This reminds me of this funny post on Instagram that I saw that like, I'm not great at Christmas shopping because I'd be like, ooh, that's cute for me. There's nothing wrong with this skirt, okay? I think it's a, a cool skirt. It kind of is giving me like schoolgirl vibes. And because it has, you know, this houndstooth and it's black and it's red, I was like, oh, it's the season to be jolly. We're doing these colors right now. I could bust this out around Christmas. I, you know, went in front of the mirror. I put this in front of me. I was like, mm, yeah, I think this will go really well on my body. I think this will fit really great. I was also enticed by the price. It was an $11 skirt. I got it. I put it on. It didn't fit me well. It was not flattering with my shape. As much as I try to master the art of knowing what works well for your body, every once in a while, I slip and fall. We all got shortcomings. That's why we need Jesus. But you know, it's also one of those circumstances where it's like, did I really need this skirt? Once the holidays end, I'm probably not gonna pick this back up, okay? So it's just another one of those things where it's like, yes, it's just $11, but do you really need that extra item in your closet because if you're not going to wear it, it's going to be a waste. So just learn from me guys. If you can try it on in the store, try it on and don't get so excited over low prices. When you see a low price and it's just staring at you, you stared at it. We just stared at each other. You just want to take it home. I could definitely left that at the store, um, but it will go back. I have the receipt this time guys and I'm within the return window. So it's going back this week. All right, y'all. So for my last best purchase of the year, drum roll, please. We remixed in the drum roll. One of my best purchases of the year is the beautiful TJL suit that I featured on this channel. I'm going to specifically narrow this down to the pants in this suit because the pants, the pants, I was not expecting it to fit that well to be that flattering but it was i just could not wait to wear it and i did okay and then i started thinking when am i gonna get to wear it again i love the way it fits my shape the quality is amazing the color is out of all my pants sorry other pants but those cjl pants are my favorite okay so that is it for my top best and top worst apparel purchases for the year. I hope that you guys have learned a little some some from me. If anything, hopefully my mistakes teaches somebody something about. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let a girl know in the comments if you also have some purchases that you kind of regret that you wish you didn't make, or if you have some things that you like, yes, I'm so glad that I pulled the trigger and I went ahead and bought these things. Let's make this a fun conversation. But like, since you're going to be there anyway, you might as well go ahead and press that red subscribe button, okay? Join the family, come to the bright side, and go ahead and press that bell notification button so that anytime I post, you'll be up today. I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much for rocking with me for another video. God bless you and I pray that you go into the new year in a very very fruitful way. I will see you guys in my next video in the new year. We gonna be doing it big so make sure that you stay tuned. Deuces!